Previously on Star Wars: The Old Republic, the Jedi Consular Chronicles. Instructors tell me that even in childhood, you had a remarkable connection to the Force. We haven't seen such power in decades. Before this council, I take from you the title of Padawan. I name you a full Jedi of our order. Honor the past. Work for the future. May the Force be always with you. You've done so well, my student. I'm Master Yuan. Come away, Yuan. Can you hear me? This comes to swallow me whole. Stay calm. Let me take on your pain. The darkness is gone. I am myself again. Better. Much better. Wait, you, you look pale. Are, are, are you all right? What? What did you do? Was that? You... He's gone. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivacor away. I... I no longer hear his voice. I can't block out his voice any longer. You must kill me to silence him. I won't kill you. But you don't need to hear his voice again either. Jedi. What? How did you... I don't understand. Your power and tactics have got you this far, Jedi, but no further. This battle was decided before you stepped aboard. Lay down your lightsaber and I'll show you mercy. Mercy is a weakness I have transcended. My plague isn't just a disease. It siphons power from its victims. With the proper rituals, that power can be channeled. Soon, the combined strength of your masters will make me the most powerful force adept who has ever lived. Turn away from this path, Parcanus. The Order can help you. Parcanus Tark died long ago. Even Vivica is merely a skin to be shed. Parcanus offered himself to me on Malachor III to crush the order that destroyed us. He embodied my spirit. I am no lost Jedi, no ordinary Sith Lord. I am Terak Morage. No matter what, Parcanus will be freed from you, Morhage. Reserved for the most prestigious among us, whose wisdom and skill safeguard the galaxy. It hasn't been bestowed in thousands of years. But you have proved worthy. Now, the Council names you Barsan Thor, Warden of the Order. How many Jedi have been named Barsan Thor? In all our millennia of history, 
you will be the third. Word of your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Whatever the order requires, I stand ready. Excellent. I knew we could rely on you. The conference is being held on Tython at the temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also another matter we should talk of in person. I need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. I trust the Council's judgment, Theron. <laughs> I'd hope not. But as such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor, this is so exciting. Oh, no time to recompile my hair. Ah, welcome. Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. What can I do for you, Chancellor? You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. The Republic has survived intact for thousands of years. What has changed? The threat of the Empire has strained us all. Dwindling resources, attacks, trade being lost. It's taken a toll. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. If this Rift Alliance's worlds are still part of the Republic, then there's hope for reconciliation. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. What sort of problems would I be solving? Whatever the Rift Alliance needs. Prove the Republic's worth to them. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your strength and courage have long shown you merit the rank. How could I refuse such an honor? Neil, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy. Before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. You've given me an example to live up to, Master Seo. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude, and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. You know these people, sir. I would appreciate any suggestions you can offer. Get on Representative Alani's good side. Though between us, I'm not certain she has one. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I can't talk any louder. Someone right here. I'm Nadia Grill. My father and the other senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. 
Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eriks. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Fail-safe systems have been disabled. Collision with Duralia's surface is imminent. Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't! You'll just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Why have you done this? These people are no threat to you. Hardly a challenge, either. But I know better than to question my orders. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Who is this Lord Kairos? A master I'm honored to serve. Hmm, my lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die, it is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. He seemed very intent on killing you all. Do you know why? To destroy the Rift Alliance and hurt the Republic, I'd say. That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blasus. Jedi. Could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just... I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! I if we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srek Grula Woska. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon, and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. We'll each man one of the thrusters and get the fortitude to safety. I'll stay here and guide everyone. <laughs> Even I can miss a planet. It's alright, Dawn. Everyone, stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now. orbit over Duralia. Everyone's okay. We're all heading back to your starship. I'll meet you there. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? My role is to take care of your problems and prove the Republic respects and values you. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan, 
He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals. You call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Yes. I didn't know my rank was common knowledge in the Republic. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh... I-I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello? And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've, uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? I'd love to hear all about your planet and culture when we have time. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. An Imperial occupation is reason enough to assist you. Technically, Balmor is not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmor's government has been in exile, myself included, and our droid factories are under Imperial control. But if Balmor is liberated, I'll see we join the Republic and bring our droid armies with us. The Republic would be honored to have you. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. Now more than ever, we must stand together. And I will prove how much the Republic cares about you. Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. Balmora, home. I never wanted to see it like this. I am... was Balmora's trade secretary. I was off-world when the Imperial occupation began, and my colleagues were exiled or killed. Our president... he was taken, and who knows what he suffered. Hiding or not, I now have seniority. If we free Balmora, I become president. Balmora's not a Republic world. Why is the Empire here? Our droid manufacturing plants are fueling the Imperial War Machine. They must be liberated. And once our government is restored, I want Balmora to join the Republic. As a Jedi, I must stop the suffering of your people. Ty! It's... it's... it's madness. You don't have any supporters or, or soldiers, anything. That will change. Meanwhile, I have a contact who can help us. A revolutionary calling himself Zenith. Zenith and his followers have been sabotaging the Empire's operations. Assassination, sneak attacks. He's something of a blunt instrument. How does Zenith fit into your plans? I need his knowledge and resources, but first, we have to find him. When you're on the surface, go to this location and enter the phrase Two perspectives are aligned into the computer there. It'll get Zenith's attention. Hopefully, he'll be amenable. Is there anything in particular you want me to tell him? Say whatever you need to. Just get him on our side. Best of luck. I've been... waiting to return for so long. I heard that two perspectives are aligned. Zenith only speaks in private and the Empire is always watching. There are privacy scramblers throughout this area, relics from a freer time. Switch them on and you will be contacted. Zena speaking, what do you want? I came to help you liberate Balmora. The Republic says that a lot, then it leaves. We share a goal, to free Balmora's people. Ty Corden is ready to rebuild the government. Unlikely. The old government's in exile. The Empire's too powerful. Hmm. Ty Corden was talented. Naive, though. Still, exile can change a person. No. 
The Republic has failed us before. Help me first, then we'll talk. You appear to have a grudge against the Republic. They came to help, then abandoned us. Twice. Prove you're different. I'm tracking the Imperial head of manufacture, responsible for building weapons and enslaving my people. He's operating from inside the Okara droid factory. Normally, no problem. But he has a powerful bodyguard. I can't get close. Go to the factory and keep the bodyguard out of the way for me? Then we talk politics. What kind of resistance can I expect? I've seen him carry a lightsaber. Be careful. Don't take long. This mission is vital. Hmm, <laughs> what a sourpuss. Not everyone has your gracious disposition, dear Holiday. We'd better do his little chore. First those terrorists, now a Jedi. Saras, handle this intruder. As you command. Get back, Jedi. I'm apprentice to Darth Lacris, Vice President of Balmora, and this man is under my protection. By what right does your master govern this planet? You don't understand, Jedi. My family has always lived here, watching Republic interference hold Balmora back. But Darth Lacris can lead us to glory. The Empire has enslaved families across Balmora. Did Darth Lacris spare yours? They... Serving the Empire is a privilege. I am proud they have the chance. You're young and strong. Defy Darth Lacris and help the people you love. Never mind this Jedi preaching. Ceres, kill her! No. I must... I need time to think on this. I will stand aside for you, Jedi. Find another way to help my people. You'll pay for that, Jedi! Your drivel just cost Darth Lacris an apprentice, and I'll be blamed! Whatever you came for, I'll never... What the... Jedi, are you alright? Bleeding is moderate, but you need treatment at once. Jedi, good work distracting the bodyguard. Allow me to find a position. Hmm. Missed my shot. Step back, please. I need him dead. You will not commit murder in front of me. This is war. He's the enemy. This man enslaves Balmorans, so he dies. No. He's a wounded captive and must be treated fairly. Jedi foolishness. Okay. I will send men to capture him. I found a safe house where Ty and his colleagues can gather. My people are smuggling in there now. This is it. I'll go on ahead. I hear Ty's plan. Excellent work. Two of my colleagues have already returned from exile. And we can work safely here. Plotting to give Balmora to the Republic. One occupation replaced by another. We both want the Empire gone. Our goal is the same. For now. Unless we work as allies, we can't free Balmora. Well said. And one of the pillars of my plan. Balmora's strength is in the huge corporations here. They have money, political pull, and military droids. So far, the Empire has left the corporations alone in return for donations of weapons and credits. Those weapons and funds would greatly improve our own position. After you both handled that Imperial official, I called my old corporate contacts here. We have their attention. Their resources are invaluable to building our new government. I want their commitment. What would be involved? Director Finn is head of Troida and speaks for the other companies. He's asked to discuss a deal with us. There's an old records vault outside Sobrick he's chosen for the meet. I'd like you to convince him to help. I hope to be a worthy representative for you. The Empire watches everyone important. Fen will have Imperial droids escorting him. For protection. Destroy them quickly or they'll report you to the Empire. Then it's over. I see Ty Corden picks his negotiators well. That should wipe your presence from the droid's memory.
Director Fenn, try to. I've been considering Ty Corden's offer. Given that we risk Darth Lacris's anger if we are caught, we want a special favor. What kind of favor? The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credit. The anguish of the scientist, burdened with petty, I mean, always vigilant against evil. If we support Ty, I want to promise that the Jedi won't interfere with our weapons development. Such matters must be decided by the Jedi Council. But you speak for your council, don't you? Wait, that's... the Imperial soldier monitoring those droids. Stay here. I'll, uh... I'll tell him something. Thought he'd never leave. I have information for you. How did you know he'd gone anywhere? Imperials used that record vault. Monitoring devices helped me ambush him. Seems Director Finn has a wife and daughter in Sobrick. My men know where to find them. Mention that, and Fen will agree to anything. I will take it under advisement. You're welcome. Better go. There. The Empire suspects nothing. So, can you promise the Jedi will not interfere with our work? How about instead we send just a few Jedi Overseers? It would please the Council, and be good for your image. Yes. In fact, that could boost our sales considerably. Here, a small token of our goodwill. Now, when the Empire invaded, we hid stockpiles of arms, secret blueprints, credit accounts. They're now yours, and Ty's. I'm sure Ty will find a good use for them. This password will let you access terminals in Sobrook to get data on the stockpiles, but that data is encrypted. Once you have all the data, take it to the sunken Sarlacc Cantina in Sobrick. A cyborg there, Banks, can decrypt and transmit it for you. Just treat him gently. Thank you, Jedi. Defying Darth Lacris has been quite the adventure. Are you Banks? I need you to decrypt and transmit some data. You're risking your neck in here, Jedi. Sobrick's Imperial now. Everywhere. Even in my head. I'd love to help you, but Darth Lacris discovered how fast I work, and bang, I'm working for her. Anything you know about Darth Lacris could be very helpful. Well, our president's sick, so she's doing his job. Good at giving orders. Bad temper. Oh, and she wants to tear your heart out, because you cost her an apprentice. Darth Lacris has my brain busy processing a data stream right now. If I stop to decrypt this, it's the shock prod. My training taught me to manage multiple thoughts. That could be useful to you. I don't know. I might accidentally start unraveling the complexities of the universe or something. Okay, I'll try it. Close your eyes and listen. See your thoughts as moving lights in the darkness. Wow. I feel... I think I could process two streams at once. Give me your data. There. Decrypted. Sent. And Darth Lacris is none the wiser. I appreciate it, Jedi. Huh. Maybe now I can get drunk and work at the same time. If you're quite finished enlightening him, can we go? We've been receiving the stockpile data. It's better than I hoped. Look, Director Fenn already sent droids for protection. Oh, and Master Seal Bacarn wanted to speak to you. Yes. I hear you negotiated with the corporations, allowing us to supervise their weapons research. An admirable effort. But I wonder if a few Jedi overseers can restrain them. This way, the corporations are supervised, but we keep their goodwill. I see you've thought carefully on this. I trust your judgment. I have Core World's business to attend to. Go well. With the corporation's support, we're secure enough to begin the next stage of my plan. Word is, our current president, Galtha, is ill. 
He's rarely seen, and Darth Lacris says she's acting on his behalf. But I need him. Unless President Gotha publicly signs over power to me, becoming president will be difficult. His endorsement seems like a small thing beside the might of the corporations. President Gotha is well loved by Balmora's people. Without his approval, or fall, they'll never trust us. Trouble. And Foreman and Sobrek just recorded this speech from Darth Lacris. By our dear president, after these rumors of a new anarchist government, we are pursuing Executive Order 228. Using it, we've unmasked dozens of resistance accomplices hiding amongst us. But rest assured, they are already at our holding facility. Once they're punished for their crimes, Balmora's future will be bright again. Darth Lacris enjoys rounding up innocents. Set a trap for a Jedi. Kill the prisoners if no one takes the bait. Win-win for her. Maybe Darth Lacris doesn't know how many followers you have. Together we could catch her off guard. Good idea. We must make sure those people are safe first. We draw off the Imperials, you grab the civilians, right? Tell me where I need to go. Thank you, both of you. We'll start arrangements to send those people into hiding. I know this holding facility, Death Trap. Here's the location. My men and I will go on ahead. Don't forget what we're risking for you, Ty. Because I won't. We got the Imperial forces to follow us. A few are being stubborn. They're guarding the facility and civilians inside put up defenses. Force fields are blocking the entrance. I must reach the civilians. I have plans with the locations of the generators powering those force fields. Shut those down. The facility's open. Back to work. Be careful. We're being cut down out here, Jedi. I won't let Darth Lacris win. Placed all our concussion charges around the facility. Shockwave will kill everyone inside. Timer's already counting down. Get everyone out, now! Please tell me those charges are on a long countdown. Longest I could set them for still isn't long. Hurry. I'll pull out, find the civilians you freed. Get the others and head to this outpost. If I'm not there, report to Ty. Terminal safe. He needs to know. Jedi, you're alive! We've been getting reports of explosions near the holding facility. This line seems secure. First, are all the civilians safe? They were all free long before the facility blew. Ah, wonderful. We've already arranged hiding places. Where's Zenith? I need to coordinate with her. Should guard your back better, Jedi. You might end up like my people. You had me worried, Zenith. Save your worry, I'm still alive. Almora will never forget those who died to free her. I swear. At least the civilians, real Balmorans, are safe. And we got information. I was in that place, Jedi. If you're looking for President Galtha, I know where they got him. Is he a captive? Or Darth Lacris's accomplice? I... don't know, sir. I just saw him being smuggled in and out of the Balmoran Arms factory by the Imperials. This knowledge could save Balmora. I hope so. We just want our lives back. Darth Lacris isn't stupid. She'll guess Galtha's location is out. If I were her, I'd move him right away. If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. Someone who knows the area would be most welcome. Need to pinpoint the president's location first. I'll go ahead. Meet me at this position outside. I can't be signed into power without a committee of Balmora citizens. Sir, if I find you a refuge, would you help me call them together? Sure, Mr. Corden. You can count on me. Be careful in there, both of you. Balmoran Arms is an Imperial stronghold. 
and Darth Lacris might be expecting you. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the president. Can you keep track of him? No. We get him now, or not at all. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. I never get between a man and his obsession. See you at the ship. Let's go, Jedi. Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. President should be close by. Let's go. More meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed that Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. The people are with us. The corporations, too. Your occupation is over. Ah, so you want President Galtha. Useless as ever. Though a tad more decorative now. Even thought he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. Why couldn't the President help us? You broke my apprentice just to learn at my feet. I'm touched. No more talk! She has poisoned Balmora long enough. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. No, not yet. You don't understand. You've destroyed everything. You've... Never been happier to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the president sounded too... honest. I sensed no deceit when she spoke. I can get President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. Ty's gone to meet his Citizens Committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Uh, no more. No more. Don't be afraid. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with us. Stars. All round. Blind. No, too many. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power. Lacris knew. No. The Empire can't win. We must fix this. I know a technique that helps people driven mad by darkness. Then try it. Can't be. Can't be. Go away. Feared this. He's broken, not corrupted. Hmm. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant. Hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though. Wouldn't last long and it might kill him. But Ty will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. Deceit and torture. You're no better than Darth Lacris. How dare you? I bled for Balmora. 
If the Lawrence see President Gotha like this, after all we've suffered, they'll crack. Ty's presidency will fail. The end. Ty escaped Imperial assassination for years. Ty himself proves there's hope. If you're wrong, we lose everything. I hope you can handle that. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrik. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Empty. All. Now. Go. Gone. Ugh. Sir, it's Ty, your trade secretary. What's wrong with him? His mind is irretrievably broken from torture. No, this can't be. He's... he's our leader. Imperial atrocities. This is why we must never stop fighting against the Empire. President Gothe is incapacitated. A senior official, Ty. You inherit his office. I didn't want it to happen like this. Ty Corden, we as fellow citizens of Balmora bear witness to your ascension to the office of President. I pledge to carry out my duties with honesty, integrity, and compassion for Balmora. This will be a difficult time. Set an example for your people. Guide them well. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? Remember, as Master Dorak once wrote, the wisest gardener respects the audacity of a stone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure we all feel enriched by that. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. There's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. It's the least you owe him. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. Any shadow of the dark side could doom Balmora before this rebirth has begun. Jedi speak. Always useful. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Well, Jedi stays flexible. Smart. Might be interesting. I'm sure your skills and experience will continue to serve us well. Sure, since Jedi attract fighting. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi. I found something under our communications array. Look. I don't recognize that. Did Theron install it? The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? The Empire knows a communications array when it sees one. Maybe. But I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up. So it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Far too little, I'm afraid. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, at a station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others 
didn't want you to know. Thank you for bringing this information to me. They're still deciding the best course of action. <laughs> Isn't that what they accuse the Republic of always doing? At a station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. Do you know what happened? What was the situation before Addis Station went silent? They sent a routine update, then we heard Imperial soldiers were in the area. Nothing more. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But father, Addis Station was built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. The faster I get in, the sooner I can protect the scientists there. See, Father? We stand the best chance of saving everyone if I help. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently, responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson. Welcome to Quesh. Haven't seen that many Jedi in this sector. You here for the war effort? Wasta mi chakukadu maji tahus hagwa upa. Chisa kava kyotopa bubanda bakawanki. Can you tell me anything else about this area? Da biska ku kapame wata botenya nucha nubuta. Nira de saslimo krispa doe kanki kunke gupa. The Empire found out about our mining operations here and filled the planet with troops and battle droids. This should prove interesting. Well, you're clear to travel the planet's surface. Just say the word. I'm ready to have a look at this poison planet. Speak to General Corvan when you land. He'll brief you on the current situation. Good luck. Fried to a proverbial crisp. Crude, but sadly quite effective. Sorry, there were Imperial soldiers wandering around. I had to hide for a bit. You should always be mindful of your welfare. But I could use your help. Oh, let me take care of that. We built an Emmanuel release just in case. Now where? It's awfully quiet in there. I hope everyone's alright. I have to get this door closed before the atmosphere contaminates the station. I'll meet you inside. The airlock's closed. We're safe. These are the people who attacked the station? Who are they? Individuals who draw on the dark side of the Force and have no mercy. We call them Sith. Like the ones on the Fortitude, when you rescued us. Must be somebody still alive. We built at a station to survive anything. Yes, here. Some of the science staff are in another wing, behind a security door. Can you tell if there are any soldiers watching the door? Let me see. There's no one watching them. Maybe the Sith don't. Wait. Look, there's an entire group of Sith headed that way. If they get in, the scientists. It'll be like the Fortitude again. Just like I said, these Republic scum have bolt holes everywhere. Let's get rid of them before the Sith take credit. No, I won't let it happen again. I won't. Go, get my override code from the console and protect the scientists. I'll handle this. How can you have that kind of power? You're wasting time. You have to stop the Sith from reaching the scientists. Jedi, I can do this. Please, trust me. Like I trust you. Conserve your energy. Keep your mind focused and let the Force flow through you. I'll remember, I promise. Ah, you'll end up on a dissecting table for that, girl. You'll have to catch me first.
As I suspected, you have a talent for interrupting my work, Jedi. But you're not alone. That girl's here too, yes? Fascinating. What's her name? And who might you be? I am Lord Kyrus, and you're supposedly a Jedi Master, though this is a poor beginning. Wouldn't Master Sayo or Yuan have your diplomats in line by now? A Jedi enslaved the bureaucrats, and they still don't trust you. Senator Grell didn't even bother making excuses for them, did he? I have no idea what you mean. At least those diplomats have taught you something. When to lie. I know you, Jedi. I know everything you've heard, everything you've done. I know you killed my servant, Arax, to save the girl. You fought so hard to save the Fortitude and Balmora, yet nobody respects you for it. I'll be interested to see where your path leads next, Jedi. Goodbye. Kill a good beast that became a serpent. The enemy is gone. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with me. A sword in bend is mending sa jata. Hoje a jata ka domino. Uge ere tuk meditative es? Milien okman poro. A friend of mine is still in this station. I should try to find her. Ap arajale fon upa uda mastat. Mas miwa. Koti lea fo leon. As edje edlin dolog as vol hoje. Oge ne kuk, tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. Oge ne kuk, tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. I'd like to see the benefits of this healing technology you've discovered. A hir nev mindi ment ki hoje. There you are, Jedi. See? I said I'd be fine. I checked the station. It's all clear. I'm heading back to the ship before father starts fretting. I'll meet you there. Neki hoje on nem kep visele. Kava tuta od mishka kaba notase mawakila. We'd like to formally apologize for keeping out of station classified from you. Mistrust is a luxury we cannot afford. I regret not taking that to heart sooner. Pl please don't be angry with us. We're very grateful you saved the, the station. Though we'll need uh, t twice the guards to protect that medical research from the Empire. Spend the credits and hire them. Those medicines could be an investment for years. If you've all quite finished, the Jedi and I have matters to discuss. Alone. Thank you for protecting my Nadia. She told me you saw her outburst. I imagine you want an explanation. Her talents appear unique. What is she? I was almost hoping you could tell me. The Republic calls them Force Abilities, but to me they're Nadia's gifts. Her powers are stronger than many Jedi, but unpredictable. I hoped she would learn from you, from your experience. It's not uncommon for powerful force sensitivity to run in families. Me? No, no. I don't have these powers, nor anyone we know back home. Nadia is special. My daughter looks up to you. Please, keep being her example. Now, Atta Station's researchers said a Lord Kairos contacted you. Didn't he order the attack on the Fortitude where we all met? Lord Kairos has been monitoring us since we left the Fortitude. That monitoring device Nadia found. It seems we do have a traitor on board. If they've stayed hidden this long, we'll need more evidence to determine who they are. Yes, yes. That seems very sensible. Perhaps if we act normally, our guest will leave another clue. In the meantime, there may be another way for you to help the Rift Alliance. A group of our soldiers on Hoth has run into a difficult situation. What do you mean by difficult situation? Hoth is infested with pirates who harass our shipping lanes, so we formed a coalition force to handle them. A quick mission, we thought, but those pirates just can't be defeated, and the Republic won't spare any help. I think this bears investigation. We can explain more when we arrive at Hoth. Until then, watch your back, Jedi. We're just getting clearance for Hoth, Jedi. Won't be a minute. Chut, chut. Pocachula, Chanu Gando, Doe Walia Tapa. 
The Republic has a right to be careful. The White Moor is cunning, and a vast frozen wasteland is quite the place to hide. Who or what is the White Maw? The White Moor is the largest pirate band in the galaxy. A splinter group has been attacking the shipping lanes to our worlds. And the Republic won't waste more men to save them. Fools. Now there's a risk of mutiny. Our coalition might abandon Hoth altogether. How is it this White Maw is giving your soldiers so much trouble? The reports we've had are very, very strange. N none of them make sense. We're giving you command of our coalition force. Find out what's happening, and get rid of those pirates so our men can come home. The only soldier still bothering to send a daily report is Lieutenant Felix Ireso, the officer in charge. He's at the Republic base. With a little help, your coalition will finish those pirates and get out safely. There. That's what we've been hoping to hear. Ah, there's our clearance. Be careful, Jedi. Quite aside from the White Moor, Hoss cold enough to freeze you solid. I'm telling you, LT, getting out today is our best chance. Maybe our only chance. Private Cree, I've noted your complaint. Twice. Now kindly put a sock in it before... Hey! See, guys? Just when it seems bleak, in walks a Jedi. Welcome. I was told to speak to the officer in charge. You found him. Lieutenant Felix Oresso. Nice to see a friendly face. A Jedi? So what? Captain Balon will finish her off like he did Daskin Antilles. The private is referring to a White Maw foot soldier who became a major player overnight. When Valon and his followers started harassing the Outer Rim, they sent us in. The LT forgot the best part, Jedi. Valon can't die. Everything that lives dies in its time. Bonapakiza. We even collapsed an ice tunnel on Valon. Next day, he's fighting us again. Now he's stolen our thermal bore device. This is over. We're leaving today. Enough back chat. All of you, dismissed. Sorry. They're getting twitchy. Valon's putting up a fight, and he'll have plans for that thermal bore device. A thermal bore device doesn't sound like a weapon. The ice here is as thick as a Gamorrean skull. A thermal bore melts it fast for mining or building bases. Set that device in the wrong place, the ice shelf will crack, and this base is history. Recovering the thermal bore might help morale, but my guys won't fight Valan again. I can bring that device back for you. I appreciate the help. If we don't get the device back, my guys will pack up and leave. Today. According to its transponder, the device is in an old Imperial science lab. It's not far. I'll be here, trying to stop a mutiny. Watch your back around Valan, Jedi. I've seen him fight, and it's not pretty. A Jedi. Perfect. You must be looking for me, Captain Valen. Soon to command every pirate on Hoth. But you don't have to kneel or anything. You're pretty arrogant, aren't you? From a Jedi. That's like an expert opinion. I was flattered. A whole coalition army sent just to kill me. But it got old. So I'm glad for something new. Hmm. Nice day, pretty lady. Maybe I'll let you go. For now. Better hurry before the device goes off. There are other solutions than violence. Nobody got famous by rolling over without a fight. I'm unique. The galaxy hasn't seen a man like me since Noc Drayan wiped out half the Hut cartel in one night. My legend's just begun. How about being the first Jedi I ever kill? Ugh, glad I don't have a sense of smell. That Valon looks like he needed a bath. Um, is it me, or was that brigand rather less immortal than expected? A powerful opponent, but hardly an unstoppable one. Curious. Perhaps that oafish lieutenant has told his men too many ghost stories. No matter. We'd better take that device back and get out of this intolerable cold. Hey, you're back. With one thermal bore device, safe and sound. Maybe I can salvage this up after all. Seems Captain Valon met his match. Guess we softened him up for you, huh? Your men held out against a strong enemy without reinforcements. No easy task. Though you did need us to complete that task for you. 
Thank you for this. You're, uh, really not how I imagined a Jedi Master to... Ah, uh, sorry, priority call. Thought I'd find you skulking there, Jedi. You're gonna pay for that insult. You and the Republic. I defeated you. I saw your corpse. Think you're pretty smart, don't you? Try your brain on this. We just found a heat exchanger for all the Republic bases. Might have ransomed it back, too. But since you crossed me, it's history. And you all freeze. That son of a... My men will be back from exercise soon. They can't know Valan's alive. Your men might help us unravel this mystery. No! If they catch on that Valan survived a duel with a Jedi, I'll have a mutiny on my hands for real. My men can't find out. I could take them to pick off Valan's scouting parties, build up their morale, but everyone will die without that heat exchanger. I stopped Valan once. Whatever he's planning with the heat exchanger, I can stop him again. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Here's the exchanger's location. There's a Republic outpost here. We can use while we're tracking those scouts. Come report to us when the exchanger's safe. I don't believe in ghosts, but this is... Good luck. Excellent. In position and right on time. Good to know we still have well-informed friends. I wish we did. Perhaps they could have told us Imperial Commandos were sneaking about. Now, Jedi, our orders are to freeze you in carbonite, not kill you. So kindly surrender now. Your Empire usually goes to great lengths to kill Jedi. This time, only alive will do. But you're not going to cooperate, are you? Keep her still. I need a clear shot, or she'll just freeze and shatter. No, please. I'm an engineer. I was just supervising the carbonite weapon. Please don't kill me. The informant didn't say you were some crazy super Jedi. Who's been passing on information about me? I don't know. They never showed their face. This anonymous tip said you'd insulted Captain Valon. The commandos planned to use you to lure him out. They needed you as bait. Said they had to get back the armor Valon stole. What's so special about Valon's armor? Hoth's covered in starship wreckage. We found advanced armor in a wreck and took it to our labs. That armor has a special healing mechanism. It heals any wound. They just got it working when Valon stole it. That's all I know, I swear. Can... can I go? One more question. Will this armor keep Valon alive no matter what I do? I don't know. They said Valon's invincible while he's wearing it. I'm never coming back to Hoth. I'm getting out of it. I'm still bleeding. Please, great Jedi, could you heal me? I'll never make it to the landing pad like this. I cannot leave anybody in pain. Here, this will help. Yes, that's better. Thank you, Jedi. I'll never forget this. They tracked us back here, LT. Those scouts were coordinated. Captain Valon's still alive, isn't he? You lied to us. Were you in on this, Jedi? Yes. But I've discovered how Valon keeps surviving. It's too late for that. We always wondered how you escaped the Imps, LT. Now this? We... we're not gonna stay here and die. Talk or shoot, Private. Don't try and do both, okay? You're in command, Jedi. I keep very special punishment chores for soldiers who step out of line. The private's scared and he made a mistake. Let him make amends. That's forgiveness, Kree. Remember it. Because if you push your luck again, the memory is all you'll have. Yes, yes, sir. But Kree's right. We can't stop Valon. No one can. Valon isn't some monster. He's just been lucky. He stole some armor from an Imperial lab. 
It heals his injuries and makes him seem invincible. So, Valan's secret is this special armor. Huh. You know, we did get intel about an Imperial lab hidden nearby. If the Empire was studying that armor, we might find information there. If you knew this lab was there, surely you could have destroyed it. We didn't have the numbers. The place is crawling with guards. A frontal assault would really cost us. But we could handle the guards while you get inside. Or, we could try luring them out, get them lost in the snow. Risky, but less risky than fighting. It's your call. Draw them out into the snow. Don't fight unless you have to. Minimal casualties, and we get to be sneaky. Outstanding. All right. We take the guards, you get in and see what you can find. I'll find you when we're clear. Everyone, get your gear! We're hitting both Valon and the Empire on this one. Yes. You. Too late. I heard you were coming after the regenerative armor, and I've destroyed my notes. You learn nothing. I want the name of your informant. Now. You... you don't scare me. We're secure. The guards are lost, but two of my guys are missing too. We're looking for them. I claim immunity. Under Section 1138 of your Republic Charter. You cannot coerce or harm a political prisoner. Uh-huh. But Hoth isn't in the Republic now, is it? Tell me all you know about the armor Valon stole. Yes. I... I must tell you all about the armor. The armor's healing function is impressive. See, this is based upon it. But the armor itself can be overstressed. If Valon was mortally injured several times quickly, the healing function would shut down, leaving him vulnerable. Can the armor's healing functions be shut down any other way? No. They are too sophisticated. This is a crude method, but it will work. Sorry to interrupt, LT. We've spotted a group of Valon's men. They're headed for a scavenger's camp. Should we engage them now or wait for you? I'm open to your opinion on this. Just make sure they can't escape and wait for us. Yes, sir. I'll pass it on. Wait! Your Republic Charter states prisoners must be cared for. Without my equipment, this lab will soon freeze. Forget it. I'm down two men already. I'm not wasting another to escort you home. If we ignore the Republic Charter, we're no better than him. You can spare one man. Okay, okay. I'll send someone for him, but we'd better get to that camp. Just stuff them on top, quick. If the pirates see this stuff, we'll never get our cut. We'll... Oh. Jedi, this... It's not what it looks like. It looks like you're working with Valon and his men. You don't get it. I'm not a bad guy. We're dying by the day, and Valon just keeps going. Valon promised us. Lead his men here, we stay alive. Oh, Private. You honestly think Valon will honor your little deal? Who's gonna stop Valon? You? You don't have the backbone. You couldn't even give me punishment duty. If you have insight into Valon's plans, it could save you and your comrades. No. You keep fighting him, you're gonna get us all killed. I've been saving this knockout gas for a good cause. If I have to fight, I'd rather take someone who can die. <laughs> <coughs> we got an update. This is big. Our... Wait, is that Private Kree? Was he in on this? Kree snapped under the strain. This isn't your fault. It was my job to take the pressure off him. We've got another problem. Our scouts tracked the pirate's trail back to the starship graveyard, right to a dreadnought. The thing's a fortress. I didn't know there were so many crashed ships here. Some space battle years ago. Republic and Imperial ships both. These scavengers used special gear to get salvage out of the ice. Valan's men went straight for it. I think Valan's planning to raise the old Republic dreadnought from the graveyard. Then he'd have his own flagship. With his healing armor and a ship that size, every pirate on Hoth would join him. Yeah. We have to get in there. This'll be rough. That class of ship used heavy security doors as choke points. Plus, the scouts reported lots of pirates. Wait, LT. Jedi, you've put yourself on the line for us over and over. 
What if we attack the flagship's engines? Valon wants the ship, he'll have to defend them. That'll work. We'll keep Valon's men out of the way, Jedi. You finish him for us. No Jedi could make a nobler gesture. I'm with them, Jedi. Right now, I... I wouldn't want to be shoulder to shoulder with anyone else. Our radios won't work out here, but I'll send you an alert when we've disabled the engines. We'll join you if we can. Find some way past those security doors and get to Valon. I just hope I'll be there for the finish. That's far enough, Jedi. The pirate Valon is ours. And so is that armor he borrowed. I heard that Valon took the armor from under the Empire's nose. It was a loan. The armor made him the perfect weapon to attack the Republic and your little coalition. Unfortunately, Valon's becoming a nuisance. He needs to be put down. We're taking that armor back if we have to rip it off Valon's body. You're not in any position to stop us. They're stubborn, Valon. But when the flagship is ready, the rest of the White Maw will follow. We... who's that? Someone who can't take a hint. I was hoping you'd be here for this. See? Some in the White Maw see that I'm the future. When this ship is raised, I'll have a whole planet of followers. You're no pirate lord. You're just a thief with a set of healing armor. Who wiped out dozens of your soldiers. The White Maw is mine, along with this ship. When she takes to the sky, the Outer Rim's gonna tremble before... What the...? That, Captain, is our signal that Lieutenant Teresso has disabled the flagship's engines and killed your men. But please, keep boasting. Nice, Fallon. No, no, you can't do this. I'm untouchable. Even death can't take me. This blind faith in your armor has poisoned your mind. It's not too late to save yourself. You're the one who needs saving. You're finished, Jedi. <laughs> Uh, it's... it's gone. You broke... Uh. That's music to my ears. Hello, Valon. I've been waiting for this since we buried Antilles. Just hold on, Jedi. I got a deal for you. Hear me out. My patience is wearing thin. Your Rift Alliance needs help, right? I got men, ships, equipment. I could attack the Empire's trade routes for you. You would better be joking. The armor's broken, but you'd get the pick of what I got left. You can have my oath right now. You must answer for the men you killed. And that means you finally get to enjoy some Republic hospitality, Valon. Thank you, Jedi, for everything. Meet us back at the Republic base. We'll get our guest where he belongs. Jedi, we've been waiting for you. We wanted to say thanks before we left. We'd never have made it through without your help. It was worth it all to see Valon stuffed in a convict shuttle. It was an honor to work alongside you. Go well. The LT got called up to your starship to make his report. He said to meet you up there. Whatever anyone says, you're one of us now, Jedi. Best of luck. Quite a story, Jedi. If we'd known the pirates had such technology, at least you were there to make the mission a success. Nagula ji wonta humpa muli ra wata wompa. I rescued your men, stopped the pirates, and handed Valon to you. What more do you want? Yuna liska chananga wa chi kospa ini kontika. We're forgetting someone. Good work, Lieutenant Ereso. We'll make sure the Republic rewards you before you're reassigned. Actually, sir, as a reward, you could persuade my superiors to assign me here, if that's okay. It'd be an honor to serve with you. Plus, an extra blaster never goes amiss, right? There's most certainly a place for you here, Lieutenant. Thanks. That's a warmer reception than I've had in a while. Excellent. It's settled, then. I'm sorry. Could you excuse us for a moment? You mentioned someone on Hoth was sending the Empire information about you. Have you discovered who it was? I think it was someone on board. Since I found that monitoring device, I've been watching our communications. 
I spotted a message to the Empire in amongst other messages while the channels were busy, but I can't trace who sent it. The monitoring device? The messages? Lord Kairos's inside knowledge? Our traitor can work our communication system. Perhaps someone has communications experience they haven't disclosed? Alani can handle a dozen messages at once. Maybe it's her. No, no. Alani sticks to her personal channel. Ty only got a call or two before he left. Duan never speaks to anyone. A Selkath could easily avoid suspicion after what the Empire did to them. Hmm. Maybe before attestation. But now Shuru won't hear a word against you. You know, Blasis gets an awful lot of work from the Aragorn bureaucracy, and a lot of calls. Wait, when you were on Hoth, and someone leaked those messages, Blasis was sending reports everywhere. What if he alerted the Empire, then? Even if Blasis isn't responsible, he could point us in the right direction. Wait here. I'll see where he's got to. No, it couldn't be Blasis. I just sent him on a mission. I meant to surprise you, Nadia. King Sethan and Queen Niska themselves are donating a regiment to the Republic. This king and queen are your homeworld's rulers? Yes, yes, that's right. The royal family wanted to heal relations between the Rift Alliance and the Republic. They thought donating troops would help. They planned a ceremony on Waypoint Station 3 to present you with the soldiers. But you were needed on Hoth, so I sent Blasis as our envoy. He's with the King and Queen right now. Tell the Royals to stay with their soldiers until I arrive. There's no answer. Jedi, what have I done? I'll contact Ty. His droids could guard the Royal family until we get there. Be sure he knows our suspicions, just in case. Will do, Jedi. Let's go. And here's our guest of honor. Kairos, if the Jedi takes one step toward their majesties, cut their throats. It will be done, my master. We're no threat to you. Please, at least release my wife. I know you can exploit any advantage, Jedi. So the soldiers had to die. The civilians, too. I do, after all, take pride in being thorough. So much darkness. And I never felt anything from you except fear. Is that curiosity or envy? I'm no mere infiltrator. I am Organ Blasis, and I am a child of the Emperor. I was brought before the Emperor as an infant, and imprinted with his power, his consciousness. I shared the greatest mind in the galaxy. With the first son concealing my presence, I joined hundreds of my brothers and sisters scattered throughout the Republic to watch and wait. Who is this first son you speak of? Supreme among those to receive this honor. I can't even comprehend the power he wields. This is immaterial. An Imperial fleet is coming. You will all be destroyed. And without the Rift Alliance, the Republic is finished. The Empire is merciful, Your Highness. Your planet could be spared the coming destruction. How? Tell me! Order your bodyguards to kill the Jedi. All resistance to evil begins with saying no. Senator Grell told us about your courage. I will not raise my hand against you. Your Empire's friendship is worthless to us. You'll regret being so stubborn when your planet is burning. Kairos, show them how a Jedi dies. Why won't you accept that our victory is inevitable? Destroying my servant won't end this. In that case, killing you might be more productive. First son of the Emperor will lead us to glory. Your death is the first step on that path. At least give me the courtesy of knowing my enemy's name. Die in ignorance. It has been agony restraining myself from killing you. He's dead? You... how could you... he seemed invincible. Why would he do this? Tobus Grell said Blasis was your ally. These children of the Emperor seem intent on destroying the Rift Alliance and thereby the Republic. Our troops died because of his treachery. They were so proud. They would have served your Republic well. Your soldiers died nobly, trying to protect you. I hope Tobus Grell and little Nadia are all right. We owe them so much. Senator Grell and his daughter have earned their place on my ship. I'll take care of them. 
We will ask the Republic for help getting home. I will never forget how you came to our rescue. From now on, the Republic will have full access to our treasury. That would more than suffice. Goodbye, Jedi. Go safely. Blasis was a Sith. He's dead, and the royal family are safe. But their soldiers weren't as lucky. Jedi, quickly. You need to hear this. Good to see you. My commanders and our droids routed an Imperial fleet near your position, but this report is odd. Our men had a dozen sudden power failures, a major communications fault. I'd call that sabotage. I suspect I know who's behind it, but let me know what you find. I sense a Jedi business explanation approaching. Master Seo's trying to get through. Thank the Force you're all right. The Empire has launched a devastating offensive. The galaxy is again at war. Dozens of major systems are being invaded. An Imperial ambush almost broke the Republic fleet and the Jedi. Every hour more are lost. We managed to protect the core worlds, but the rest of the Republic is under fire. The Empire never intended this peace to last. I need you. All of you. The Rift Alliance worlds are the only ones still standing strong. We need you to... Wait. I don't see the Aragorn representative. Is Blazus all right? I also have bad news. The Republic has been infiltrated. The children of the Emperor. Now, of all times, you say they've hidden themselves in the Republic. Sounds like you've come across the children before. Several years ago, one of the Dark Council turned and joined us. He brought valuable intelligence. He mentioned these children of the Emperor. But even the Dark Council only knew terrible rumors. We must be on guard. In the meantime, the Chancellor has invoked an ancient law giving Jedi Masters military authority. The Republic needs our leadership. The children are the greater threat. If I catch their leader, I can unmask them. I agree, but without a way to detect these children, we must face the Empire. We can't win with the armies we have. The Republic needs powerful allies. And you have already proven you could lead them. You and the Rift Alliance must search the galaxy, seek out the strongest forces you can find, to strike back at the Empire. You won't be alone out there, Jedi. Balmora will always be your ally, no matter what. I'd rather follow someone I respect. Count me in too. We've come a long way together. Now it's time to use our strength. We must begin our search for allies at once. I must admit, this task does seem near impossible. Places murdered so many of my people alone. To fight all the children and this empire. Who could help us? There's a time and a place to seek help. And I believe we've reached it. What of the Noeticons? The ancient masters who taught you the shielding technique. Their knowledge and experience could guide us. Is there some way to speak to them again? We recovered the last fragments of the Noeticons. And our most gifted engineers have been reconstructing them on Typhon. They haven't responded to anyone, even the Council. But they may remember you. I must go. Leave for Tython and speak to the Noeticons. I hope their knowledge has survived. May the Force be with you.